Hello and welcome to another edition of TomGranny.com's video podcasting. Today we're going to be looking at the Rock Island Armory 1911. Here's my latest purchase. It is a Rock Island Armory 1911, 45 ACP. Very similar to the Colt 45, 1911 without the hefty price tag on it. One thing I liked about this gun is the fact that it has three inherent safeties to it. One being the fact that if you don't have the hammer pulled back, you know visually that it's not going to be able to be fired. The second being that we are ready to fire, hammer back, you could of course just put the thumb safety on right there and you're not going to be able to pull the trigger. The third being let's say your thumb safety is off is built into the handle itself is a safety that has to be pushed in in order for the trigger to be fired. In this case right there, got my hand on it and I'm ready to fire. Also, getting ready to go to the range, of course we have to have some ammunition, got a couple clips, I want to make sure that we have hearing, hearing protection, and this one, here's a little gel piece, these are real lightweight, but the problem I have with it, I don't know if you can see, they rip real easily, and if you lose one, they pop off real easily, you have to go buy new ones, I mean they're convenient, but I don't know if I would recommend it so much. Here's your classic set of ear protection. These really work well, but if you're shooting something like a trap, they kind of get in the way once you pull the gun up to your shoulder. And of course, not that I would recommend these at all, would be your, your spongy type. So these would be considered your ears. Of course, you need eyes. In this case, just a simple pair of uh, sunglasses. Uh, sunglasses that are hopefully Winchester shatter resistant in case you get a lead piece that comes flying back at you. Some ammo. So we're ready to go to the range. Let's see how we can do. say what I discovered was being a little left eye dominant when I was shooting at the target I found I was a little bit high into the left so what I had to do is adjust and bring my line of sight as far as aiming center two inches to the right two inches down and once I did that I was hitting right blowing the center out not a problem liked it a lot it's a great gun for the money I'm real happy with the purchase. I look forward to shooting it a lot. And if you're looking for a gun, I definitely recommend uh, the Rock Island Armory 1911 45 ACP. You really can't go wrong.